Good morning, Cup of Joy family. It's great to see you. My name is Christine. For those of you who don't know, those of you new, welcome so much. It's great to have you a part of this family. Those returning, welcome back. It's so good to see you again. Guys, we have a two-part message today. I do not get these often, so today is a special day. Before we dive into the word, let's start out with a prayer. God, first off, thank you for everything you are, everything that you do. Thank you for the free gift of salvation that you gave us. Lord, I pray that those watching have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and the heart open to receive the message today, Lord. God, whatever it is that need to that needs to be said, let it be said. Let your light shine through. Let your words flow through, Lord. God, this platform is yours. I am here for you. And I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so we are going to be in the book of 2 Corinthians. We are going to be reading verses 5 through 10. And I am reading the New King James Version for you guys. So it starts out, For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. Now if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or, if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast, because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so also you will partake of the consolation. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure above strength, so that we despaired even of life. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead, who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver us in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. Oh my, all I have to say is amen, just amen to that. Um, he did something different today so he did not give me a word exactly to write down what he what he did have me say at 12 37 a.m it's a little bit ago so today friday may 3rd 2024 okay so i can read this part it says my child i will speak through you on this word It is for many, I mean many of my children. This message is not for everyone at this moment in time, but no, I hold no limits. My daughter, share share these scriptures, videos on your ministry page. I have a Yahweh heart. So guys, I don't know what's about to be said. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome, welcome him in. Abba, thank you for everything, Lord God. I am here. Whatever you need to say, you can use me, Lord. I trust you, and I I, I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My children, I want to thank you. Thank you for being obedient. Thank you for sharing my message. Thank you. Thank you. I see those partaking in me. I see those sharing my gifts. I see those talking about me. I see those praising my name. I see you. I hear you. I love your praises. I love your shouts. I love your <laughs> I love your hoorahs. <laughs> but my children, I need you to know that the life I have given you with where you are is not going to be easy at all times. 
that we'll be suffering in one way or another. And just because there's suffering going on doesn't mean that there's not blessings going on either. Doesn't mean that there's not healing going on either. And in this time, many healing is taking place. But please know, there will still be affliction. Despite this, I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you to please keep your faith in me. Do not doubt my word. Do not doubt my love for you, my children. Do not doubt my love for you, my sons. Do not doubt my love for you, my daughters, my children, my child. I am here. I am here. I hear you. I see you. I know your prayers. I am here. Continue to follow me. Don't worry about those casting lots on you, casting curses, trying witchcraft, trying voodoo. None of that's going to work. Nothing can work. For I am the great I am. Nothing, I mean nothing, can stop my will for you. Continue to trust me. Continue to have faith. Continue to share my word. In fact, I need you to spread my word even more. I need you to share my story. Share my glory. Share the testimonies that I have done in you. Share my works. Share your faith in me. In Jesus, in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ of Nazareth, share your works in me. Don't be quiet, but just know there is going to be some lashbacks. There, there is going to be some haziness and confusion at times. It's, it, it's all a part of it. But I will break everything down for you and those who question you. Don't get upset. Don't get frustrated. I will break it down for them. That that That's the greatness and the glory that I have. I will vindicate you. I will set you free. I already have. Continue to do your good works. Continue to hold that faith, my children. You make your father proud. You make your father proud. Thank you, my children. <sighs> all right, guys. That's all he wanted me to share. For this first part of the message... He does want me to wish you all a wonderful night. Have a good night. Have a good night, my friends, my family, my brothers, my sisters in Christ. I love you all. Until the next word. Bye.